Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. In this video, I will show you how to use the sum ifs function in Excel. The sum if function is to find the conditional sum of values based on multiple criteria. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Excel sum if formula using these four multi criteria examples. This is the formula for sum ifs. The first three arguments, the sum, criteria, range one, and criteria one are mandatory. Additional ranges from criteria range two onwards and their associated criteria are optional. The sum range are the actual cells that you want to sum. Criteria range 1 is the first range to be evaluated by criteria 1. Criteria is the condition that must be met, and criteria can be in the form of a text, number, date, logical expression, or referencing a cell. Now let's move on to example 1. In example one, I want to sum the salary of manager earning 3,000 or more. To start, uh, let, let, let me delete these uh, numbers first. All right, so to start, we click on this cell and then we click on insert function. And you type in sum ifs. Click on the go, and some ifs appear here. Then you click click on it and click OK. The sum if function tells you exactly what you need to enter. It, it, it provides the field that you need to enter. If you are not sure what the sum range means, you can look down below here. And it would explain what it is. Like sum range are the actual cells that you want to sum. So in this example, the, in this example one, right, the cells that I want to sum is the salary. Hence, I will select the salary cells, which is here in the salary column. Next, criteria range one. This is the first range to be evaluated by the first criteria. In this example, Manager is my first criteria and it is in the title column here. Hence, I will select the cell C5 to C13 in the title column. Next, criteria one. This is the first criteria to meet. In this example, as manager is my first criteria, I will type the word manager here. Alternatively, if you do not want to type the word manager, you can just click on this and select the manager. So you point to this cell reference. Next, criteria range two. This is the second range to be evaluated by the second criteria. In this example, salary is my second criteria and it is in the salary column. Hence, I will select these cells here. Criteria two is the second condition to meet. In this example, as greater than or equal to 3,000 or more is my second criteria, I will type in greater than equals to 3,000 here. And when you hit OK, you will get the sum 7,000. So, 
the sum of salary of managers earning 3,000 or more is 7,000. So managers, there are managers here, earning 3,000 or more. So it's these two. So if you press control and select the individual cells, this and this, you will notice that the sum is 7,000, which is the same as this, right? So this formula is the same as the formula that I have shown here. So if you want to type up the formula, you can type it here. If you want to type yourself, this is the sum range here, all right? Then this is criteria range one, criteria one, criteria range two, and criteria two. Now, let's move on to the second example. In this second example, I want to sum the salary if the date falls between 1st January 2022 and 31st, um, 31st December 2022 inclusive. So to start, let's click on here and click on the insert function and type in the sum ifs, click go, select the sum if and click OK. So the sum if, the sum range are the cells that you want to sum. So in this example, the cells that I want to sum is salary. So I will click here. I will select the salary cells. And criteria range one is the first range to be evaluated by my first criteria. In this example, the date, 1st January 2022, is my first criteria and it is in the date column. So I will select the cells uh, D5 to D13. Criteria 1 is the first criteria to meet. In this example, as greater than uh, 1st January 2022 is my first criteria, I will type greater than or equals to 1st January 2022. All right. Next, criteria range 2. It is the second range to be evaluated by the second criteria. In this example, the date 31st December 2022 inclusive is my second criteria. And it is in this date column. Hence, I will select these columns. Criteria 2 is the second condition to meet. In this example, less than or equals to 31st December 2022, this is my second criteria. So I type this in here. And when you click OK, you will get the sum 17,900. So the what this is saying is the sum of salary if the date falls between 1st January 2022 to 31st December 2022 inclusive is 17,000. 900. So what is looking for is uh, 2022. So you want to ex exclude these uh, dates 2020. So if you were to select these cells for the year 2022, you will notice here that the sum is also 17,900, which ties in with this date. So again, if you want to type in the formula manually, this is the formula to type in. All right. Next, let's move on to example three. Here, I want to sum the salary with blank names and titles. So here, I only have one blank name and title, and the salary is $8,000. $8, so let's see how we build in the sum if formula. So to start, let's go here and again, click on insert function, sum ifs. Some range are the cells that you want to run. 
So in this example, the cell that I want to sum is salary. All right. Then criteria range one is the first range to be evaluated by the first criteria. In this example, my first criteria is the name column. Hence, I will select these cells, which is in the name column. Criteria one is the first criteria to meet. In this example, blank names is my first criteria. So I will type double quotation marks here. All right, double quotation marks. Next, criteria range two is the second range to be evaluated by the second criteria. In this example, my second criteria is the title column. Thus, I will select the cells in the title column here. Criteria two is the second criteria to meet. In this example, as blank title is my second criteria, I will again type the double quotation marks here. And when you click the OK, you will get the sum 8,000. All right. So you notice that what we wanted was the sum of salary with blank names and title. So here, here is where there is a blank name and title and the salary is 8. Thousand. There's only one record, and so it gives you eight thousand. Now let's do the fourth example. Here we want to sum the salary of non-blank names and titles. So we don't want this row. We want non-blanks. That means those that, that are filled in. So again, let's go to here and go to click on insert function. And so I have the sum ifs here. I can just double click this. So sum range are the cells that you want to sum. So in this example, the cells that I want to sum is salary. So I will click this and I will select the salary cells. Then I go back here. And criteria range one. This is the first range to be evaluated by the first criteria. So in this example four, my first criteria is the name column, I want non-blank names. So it's the name column. So I will select the name cells. Criteria one is the first criteria to meet. So in this example, non-blank names is my criteria. So I will type lesser, the lesser than and greater than symbol here. All right. This is for non, this symbol is for non-blank. So I'll type this here. Next, for criteria two, this is the second range to be evaluated by the second criteria, which is the titles. So in this example, as a, the title it is my next criteria. So I will click on this and select here. All right. Criteria two. So as non-blank title is my second criteria, I will type the lesser than and greater than symbol here. All right? So you use this symbol if you want non-blank cells. So this means for this range, column C, I want it to be non-blank. For column B here, I also want it to be non-blank. And if they are non-blank, you sum the range here. So let's click the OK. So when I click OK, I get the sum 23900. Zero, zero. That is the sum of salary with non-blank names and titles. So these are the salary with non-blank -na names and title. And as you can see in the status bar, it is also 23900, which is the same as the formula I have here. All right. Again, if you want to type the formula, this is how you type the formula. This is the part 
this is the sum of range. The first part is always the sum of range. Then this part is the criteria range one and the criteria one. Then this is criteria range two and this is criteria two. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.